G'day my friends, Marty Way from the Marty's Garden Show and martysgarden.com.au I have a game changing video for you today that I believe you may have never seen before. Yes, it's all about growing fresh food at home, microgreens and baby leaf, even in the vegetables from what you can find around your garden. It's 100% free my friends and 100% fresh. Let's go and check out the video. And, oh, look, I'm super excited to show you, so we better get going. <laughs> I've been hanging out to do this video all week. This is what we like to call in Australia farmer's friends. The reason being is the seed sticks to you and is designed to stick to animal coats and be moved around as a weed, which a weed is just a pioneer species. Now, this tastes like sorrel, and the information that I got from this about this plant came from Australian bush food guys saying that you can eat the plant and that the seed actually makes a sprout. Well I thought I can take this one step further and turn it into a microgreen. Now you can see that it's at its second stage leaf here and just about to come through so that's ready for harvest. Now some of my friends were saying but what does it taste like Marty? And I said well I don't know yet because I haven't tried it but yesterday I tried some and it tasted like sorrel. Another one I have growing here in a microgreens tray is, believe it or not, it's similar to the dandelion and it's called cat's ear. And there's 300 versions, or 300 different types of dandelion that is edible. And at the moment, it's, it's very small. You can see it, it's about this size. So it's not really something that's harvestable yet as a sprout unless you know you're in a survival situation but it is highly extremely nutritious now I'm putting my finger down here so you can get an idea of the size of the plant but this one I believe will be an awesome really awesome like baby leaf style plant and I collected this seed again in the wild just around the farm uh, for free now you can find this literally everywhere but what I recommend my friends is that you stay away from places that are being sprayed I'm gonna head out and show you now um, where I'm finding this seed and give you a look at exactly what I'm harvesting and how I'm doing it check this out now there is a bounty of food here just right here in my backyard at the side of the micro farm now this could be mistaken as the dandelion but it's not this is called cat's ear and it is quite different to the dandelion but I believe it's related to the daisy still now it definitely is an edible plant and I will be eating that flower as you watch behind the video now you will be hearing me chewing away on that flower it's got a bit of a bitter sort of taste but very very good for you now here's the seed my friends this is something that we see very commonly and as you know it gets picked up by the wind and drifted around and that's what you collect and you just don't be too fussy with it just grab it break it off put it in a brown paper bag and go and sprinkle it into your recycled tray with a bit of soil or potting mix and grow them on just as you saw in the other part of the video it's that simple now I recommend that you don't take all of them if you don't have a lot of them around but it's quite common and it does come up a different time than the, the common dandelion so it comes up at a different time of year so you're gonna have food right round. now how can you tell the difference well it splits out into two flowers the dandelion only has one and it splits out and the leaf formation is a little bit different all right I've made an awesome discovery over here I'm searching in this weed patch that's um, just been going nuts because we just had some rain after the drought I'm actually gonna pull this guy out because I'm not worried about it it's just a weed and I'm gonna bring it over and show you this is the cobbler's peg or the farmer's friend and there's a few different ways that you can eat and consume this So here we have the famous, well actually infamous cobbler's peg, which we really like to call farmer's friends in Australia. And they call it the farmer's friend because you can see here on the end of this, 
there's some little spikes and they hook on everything and they love the hooking on animal fur t-shirts whatever that's got like a fibrous thing that they can grab hold of and put their seed elsewhere now they are classed as a weed within Australia and many countries but a weed basically is a pioneer species created to fill up the space that has empty dirt now these guys are as tough as you can grow them just straight in soil straight out of the garden in some recycled trays and you have food for free all I recommend as I've mentioned before in other parts of the video don't go to sprayed areas you can use the leaf and believe it or not this little flower here when it's in its like yellow stage is edible as well and it doesn't taste too bad it's a little bit bitter but it's supposed to have some type of enzyme in it that cleans your teeth and removes any sugars and things like that so very interesting plant it was also going to be used and it still is used in some parts of Africa as a crop to be grown because it's just so hardy and apparently the story goes that before Monsanto got in they were looking at growing this all over parts of Africa because it's supposed to be very high in B complex so there you have it you can grow fresh food at home for free you can just use recycled containers and a bit of soil now if you want to take it one step further go and get yourself some potting mix and grow it that way now I recommend that you grow these weeds that I'm showing you in filtered light they grow much softer and tender and you'll get a better flavored textured plant just treat them as you would any other microgreen now next video is all about the rainbow chard taking it from the microgreen stage to the baby leaf to the maturest plant now that is really exciting because this stuff is cheap to buy in seed and will last you ton it'll produce you tons truckloads of food and i really want to share that with you so that's coming up in the next video now if you haven't subscribed to marty's garden you want to keep learning more about growing fresh food fast in urban places and small spaces yes small space gardening but producing a lot of food quickly then i'm the place that i'm hoping that you're going to subscribe to and keep watching the videos as they go along if you've got anything else to share on this subject about the fresh food future and free food or cheap ways to grow, grow food at home please share it in the comment box down below and I look forward to seeing you again real soon have a great day happy gardening and we'll see you in the next video bye for now